Today I'm going to show you all how to install a CPU onto your motherboard. For those of you that haven't done this before, want to see how it's done if you're um, building a computer and putting in a CPU or if you're replacing the CPU that may have gone bad or you want to upgrade in your new computer. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do that today. Um, as you can see, I have the motherboard out of the case right now if you're building a computer and you haven't put it together yet. I would recommend that you do this to put the CPU in. It will make it easier to get your hands on it and uh, it won't be so dark and you won't have to reach in the case. But if um, it's already in there, it's no big deal. Just make sure you have room and enough light to see what you're doing. But um, first of all, you got right here we're going to take off our heat sink that's the big fan you're going to see right here usually you got some clips that you're going to have to undo it might be kind of hard and tight but you should take those off like that and unplug right here you're going to see that there's a fan cable that's what's powering your fan and so go ahead and unclip those and unplug the fan and get it undone here Take that off and get that out of the way. If, um, if you had a CPU in there, then you're going to notice that on the bottom of the heat sink and on the processor, there should be some thermal paste, and you're just going to want to wipe that off. You're not going to want to reuse that because it'll be bad after it's been used before and the processor's been hot. So you're going to want to wipe that off with, um, with a paper towel or anything. Okay, now that you got your heat sink off and out of the way, you can see right here we have our CPU. And there should be a little lever right here on the side. We're going to want to lift that up. That will kind of click up and out of the way. And you can go ahead and grab your CPU by the side like that and lift it straight up. And that's your CPU. You can see on the bottom there there's a whole bunch of pins. You want to be careful not to bend any of those pins or... Uh, that won't work anymore. So get that out of the way and get your new CPU. And go ahead. You can see here there's a little arrow. And that arrow corresponds with an arrow on your socket there. And so just go ahead and line that up like that and set it in there until it snaps into place like that. Should fit pretty good. Go ahead and put this lever back down and it will be nice and snug in there and you got that. And before you put your heat sink back on you're going to want to put on some thermal paste onto your CPU so that your heat sink and your CPU will be in contact with each other. And I got some Radio Shack silicone compound. If you're going to be doing overclocking or something that will produce more heat you might want to get a better um, maybe arctic silver uh, compound for that but just go ahead and put a little dab on the center of your CPU just enough that when you press down with the heat sink it will spread out and once you got that in there you can go ahead and put your heat sink set it on there like that and go ahead and Clip down the clips on the side so that it'll fit nice and snug like that. And um, we'll put our fan cable back on. And that's about it. You got it all set up now, and thanks for watching.